What? Ever since you've been hanging out with the cool kids, you've been doing so much. No, I haven't. I just do it sometimes. Um, you've been practically addicted to it for the past two months. I doubt it. Yes, oh. you have. Is that a jewel? I see. Yeah, no, yeah, sir. Yeah, I was just yeah, casually, yeah, I was just yeah, casually hanging yeah, out. What's in your pocket? Nothing. In my pocket is just okay, my. I'll handle this. It's my keys. Just go back to class. This is my keys, sir. What's What's in that pocket? Um, this one. Uh, I don't see any. Just like a little package. So it is a jewel. Why don't we have a talk in my office? Jewel is a new type of e-cigarette that has become popular to teens all throughout North America. These nicotine-fueled e-cigarettes enter the market with the intention of being an alternative to those who want to quit their bad smoking habits. However, now teens with no previous smoking history are beginning to become addicted to juuling. The FDA has even announced that juuling has now become an epidemic amongst teens. Come on in, have a seat. Well, what do you want to talk about? So why do you think jewels aren't worse than cigarettes? Well, for starters, they don't have as much nicotine as cigarettes do. So unfortunately, that isn't true. One jewel pod has the same amount of nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. Sure, it doesn't have the tar and arsenic that cigarettes have, but it's just as addicting as cigarettes. And let me ask you another question. Do you have an addictive personality? Well, yeah, I remember when I was younger, I used to play a lot of video games and I felt like I was addicted there. My parents used to always tell me I was. An addictive personality can cause more harm than good. Nicotine is highly addictive and can impair brain and lung development. Jewel developed a patented like nicotine formula called nicotine salts, which leads to increased absorption of nicotine in the bloodstream. Really? I actually didn't know that. Okay, now let me ask you something else. Why do you jewel? Well, I guess it's because I kind of wanted to fit in and all the kids were doing it on Snapchat and Instagram, if I'm just being honest. And sometimes when I'm upset, like, I'll just jewel a little bit and, like, I'll feel better. Like, I don't know if that's a good way to cope with it, but that's just what I'm doing. Okay, so, yeah, I'm glad that you decided to talk to me about this and I really wouldn't want you to get suspended or expelled. But let me ask you this. How many pods do you smoke in a day? Um... Probably like two pods a day. Okay, now that's way too much. Statistically speaking, you're four times more likely to get started on traditional cigarettes given how much you're drooling. I don't think I'll ever do cigarettes. I don't want to go there. So last year, you probably never thought that you'd, you'd be drooling and look where you are now. When did you start drooling? I started about two months ago, probably. Yeah, two months ago. So around the same time that your grades took a nosedive? Yeah, that's, that's, that's about one. It's a funny coincidence, don't you think? You weren't like this last year. You used to care about your grades, you used to care about really everything. And you're going to university next year. You wouldn't really want to ruin your future just because of this USB-shaped cigarette, right? Yeah, I'll just never smoke again. That's what you wanted me to say, right? Look, I'll be honest, sir. If, if you confiscated my jewel, I probably would just get another one, I don't know, tomorrow or the day after. But... I have taken into consideration what you've said, and I really feel like after hearing the facts that juuling is just as scary as cigarettes because people ended up addicted to them as well. Um, I think I would have to wean off though. Like I'm doing two pods a day. I'd probably have to go to 1.5 and then one and then eventually come off of it. But I realize it's not worth it. And there's other options out there if you are feeling upset or just fitting in. It's just not the right thing to do. And like you said, I'm going to university next year. So I really have to get everything together. But I appreciate the conversation that we had, um, but I think you should give the jewel back to me. So, I can only say that I hope that you, if you continue jeweling, that you do it responsibly now that you know the risks, that you um, consider them before you actually do it again. And just a little bit about myself, like when I was younger, I was on cigarettes when I was 16. And I've been, do I've been doing it up until I was around 30 and when I look back at it it's those have been the the worst years of my life I really think and I got into it just like you because of peer pressure and it really isn't worth it but in the end it's up to you so